Hey guys, welcome to my video. I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'll show you how I made a YouTube subscribe counter and how you can make your own. I'm not going to explain how the code works in every detail, but how to use it. If you need an explanation or have any questions, please leave a comment below and if your comment gets enough likes, I will explain the code in a future video. Let's get started, have fun and enjoy the video. First, you need to install the Arduino IDE. Go to the Microsoft Store, search for Arduino, download, install and open it. You can also get it from their homepage. Next, we have to install some libraries. Click on File, open your preferences and insert the link. You can find the link in the video description. Then, go to Tools, open the Bots Manager. Search for ESP8266 from the ESP8266 community. Select the version 2.3.0 and click Install. Then go to Sketch. Open Manage Libraries. Search for YouTube IPI by Brian and install it. Don't close this window as we need a second library. Search for Arduino JSON. Select the version 5.13.5 and press install. Select the board you want to use, in this case the D1 Mini. As you can see, you can't select a port right now. You have to connect your D1 Mini to your computer first. Then select the right port. Let's open the sketch example for our task. Go to File, Examples, scroll down until you see the YouTube IPI and open the sketch name Channel Statistics. This was the easy part. Now comes the tricky part. You have to modify the code by typing in your SSID, your SSID password, your YouTube channel ID and your YouTube API key. If you don't know how to get your API key, just check the video description. There's a link to the video tutorial. Press upload and the code will be uploaded to your board. Open your serial monitor to see if it works. Next, we need to do some soldering. Now we have to upload the right code that works with our display. Many thanks to Electronoops for the code. The link is in the video description. Make sure to insert your SSID and so on and then upload the code. Now I think we need a case.
time.